Will everyone please be seated? Good morning. My name is Bruce A. Hawkins, Sr. As chairman of the Board of Trustees of Western Piedmont Community College, I am privileged to extend a sincere and heartfelt welcome to all of you to the 2017 Western Piedmont Community College graduation. Also, I would like to extend a personal welcome to Dr. Jimmy Williamson, president of the North Carolina Community College system. Today, let's celebrate together with the graduates who are now our future. Graduates, today marks an important day in your lives and a significant milestone in your life's journey. Take a look around you and appreciate this moment and give thanks to family, friends, and those who have helped you along the way. Entering into this institution facing intense competition, you pursued your academic work with great dedication. By your hard work and by dedication to maintain high standards, you earn your degree. You are now equipped to take on the world. As you march out into the broader world, you must realize that your graduation day is not the end, but a new beginning. And as you come to accept this, you are presented with new choices and thousands of possibilities of what you can become sometime in the future. Destiny awaits you. Whether you choose to further your education or to move directly into your career. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once stated, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. Then crawl, but whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Today, I encourage you to get busy with the next step in your education and your life. Please accept congratulations and best wishes from the college and, it, and its trustees, faculty, and staff. We wish for you a future that is happy as you are today. Congratulations. I now welcome Maya Lowe, president of the Western Piedmont Community College student body and student trustee to the lectern for her remarks. Hello parents, friends, and family. Welcome to the Western Piedmont Community College 2017 graduation. I am honored to have served as your SGA president and to also be a part of this graduation as I give my farewell and good luck speech to you all. I would like to begin by quoting someone most of us have known since we were very young. And today, I will bring you back to your childhood. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Dr. Seuss. I chose this quote because it reminds me how many of us have jobs. Many of us have kids. And yes, many of us are still just kids. But you all chose to steer yourself in the direction of getting your degree. And here you are today, graduation day. Coming together here at Western Piedmont, I'm sure has taught us to face challenges like late night studying, projects, and exams. You might have never thought you put yourself through so many challenges. But today, we honor and celebrate your achievements. You have left a legacy by putting forth the time and effort. A friend of mine once said, school is not my thing. It's too hard. I probably won't even finish. I really don't want to be here. And today, she sits before me as one of your fellow graduates. Let's not lie. That's something all of us have said in the past. 
which is perfectly fine because what really matters is that you stuck through and persevered. Graduates of 2017, as you walk across the stage and accept your degrees, I urge you to stand tall, to smile, and remember all the good times, the good thoughts, and where your hard work got you because of Western Piedmont. We hope you are able to incorporate what Western Piedmont Community College had to offer in this new chapter of your life. Good luck. And remember to come back to share your stories. Once a pioneer, always a pioneer. Thank you. Thank you, Mal. Good morning. My name is Michael Helmick, and I am the president of Western Piedmont Community College, and I too would like to welcome you and extend my personal greetings to the audience and the graduates. This is the annual spring graduation ceremony at Western Piedmont Community College. This morning, we are gathered to honor the students of the graduating class of 2017, those students whose desire for learning and aspirations for a better life led them to enroll at Western Piedmont. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I want to recognize several individuals who are here this morning to participate in this annual celebration of students' achievement. First, a group of very dedicated and supportive individuals who gave, us, who gave so unselfishly of their time and energy to Western Piedmont, our Board of Trustees. If you all would stand as I call your name. Mr. Bruce Hawkins, Chair of the Trustees. Mr. Bill Lennon, Vice Chair. Ms. Ampero Alfaro. Mr. John Mercer. Mr. Scott Mowey. Mr. Ronnie Thompson. Ms. Linda Wall. And Ms. Mal Lowe, Student Trustee. Let's give these folks a hand. Thank you all for being seated. Next, I would like to acknowledge the administration of the college, the deans, and the senior administration who work so well together to ensure the efficient operation of the institution. The senior staff of Western Piedmont, please stand as I call your name. Ms. Rhea Crawford, VP of Academic and Student Success. Ms. Sandy Hoyleman, Vice President of Administrative Services. Mr. Atticus Simpson, Vice President of External Affairs and Workforce Development and Ms. Kathy Durham, Executive Assistant to the President and Trustee Liaison, who is not on the stage but is out in the audience helping with the ceremony. The College Deans, Mr. Michael Daniels, Dean of Health, Engineering and Applied Technology. Ms. Anne Marie McNeely, Dean of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Leslie McKesson, Dean of Business, Public Service and Academic Support. Mr. Lee Kaiser, Dean of Workforce Development and Continuing Education. Ms. Susan Williams, Dean of Student Services. And Mr. Jim Coleman, Dean of Information Technology. Let's give all these folks a nice round of applause. You all may be seated. Next, a group of individuals without whom we could not operate this college. You may not be aware that Western Piedmont consistently outperforms many of the other North Carolina community colleges in the mandated performance measures. And our surveys indicate that our students are pleased with the education that they receive and consistently recommend this to their friends and family. Western Piedmont is a college of excellence because we have the best, most dedicated faculty and staff of any college that I know. We do not say thank you enough to these individuals, so please join me in thanking the faculty and staff of Western Piedmont Community College as they stand to receive your applause. Thank you, you all may be seated. And finally, while I'm thanking individuals who figure so prominently in our college, I want to thank those individuals who are not on the stage, but made what goes on up here today possible, as well as many, many other things at the college. Please help me thank the staff who helped make this graduation event happen, the student services staff.
before I introduce our speaker, I want to draw your attention to a few items of ceremony that helped make Western, Piedmont graduate, Western Piedmont's graduation so unique and special. First, you probably noticed the college mace that, is carried to, that was carried to the stage by Jonathan Crumpler, the chief marshal. It's located right in front of me here on center stage and is held in a wrought metal stand. Historically, the mace was a weapon carried ahead of high government officials to announce to everyone that someone prominent was coming. Today, is ma a mace is largely ceremonial and is used frequently in academic events as they are a symbol of tying the college, to, uh, present college to the past. This mace has elements that date back more than 20 years at the college and the current version incorporates both those historical elements and more modern elements, including the stand that was made a few years back by the welding students at Western Piedmont. Next, in your program, you will find a description of the ceremony, ceremonial regalia that is worn by most of the faculty and staff. The color of, colors of the hoods that are worn designate both the academic discipline of the wearer and the college from which the degree was earned. You might find it interesting to see how many disciplines are represented by the faculty and staff of Western Piedmont Community College. Lastly, I want to point out the presidential medallion that I'm wearing. Presidents at most colleges have a medallion that represents the office. I am wearing the Western Piedmont presidential medallion that debuted last year, and it gives me great pleasure to tell you that it is an example of the fine work that is done by the Advanced Machining Program at Western Piedmont. Instructors Brandon Hensley and Larry Thompson and our machining students designed and fabricated this medallion, which will be worn by me and future presidents of this institution. Now it's my pleasure to introduce this morning's speaker. In 2016, Dr. James Jimmy C. Williamson became the eighth president of the North Carolina Community College system, a system that includes 58 community colleges and educates over 700,000 students annually in North Carolina. Dr. Williams, Dr. Williamson brings extensive experience as a leader, innovator, and proponent of community colleges, along with a background steeped in business, economic development, workforce development, and community service. Before assuming the role at NCCS, he served two years as president and CEO of the South Carolina Technical College System, where the highlights of his tenure included working with the universities and colleges in South Carolina to smooth transfer pathways, chairing a special Senate proviso committee to help develop a comprehensive workforce development strategy to help close the skills gap and attracting companies such as Volvo and Mercedes-Benz to the state. Additionally, he has been at the helm of South Carolina's nationally recognized apprenticeship program for Boeing, BMW, Michelin, and others, and was named State Employee of the Year by the South Carolina Association of Regional Councils in 2015. His insight into workforce development is informed by both his 20 years in the South Carolina technical system, rising through roles from registrar to dean to two college presidencies and then to two system presidents and two system presidencies, and his six years in a leadership position with Agape Senior, a healthcare related industry in South Carolina. While serving in the private sector, Dr. Williamson was honored by ASHHRA with the inaugural, inaugural Gary Williams Leadership and Innovation Award as a healthcare human resources professional. Dr. Williamson holds a Bachelor of Visual Arts and Masters of Education in Guidance and Counseling from Winthrop University as well as a PhD in Higher Education Administration from the University of South Carolina. That school is usually known around here as the other Carolina, I am told. A longtime Rotarian, Dr. Williamson served as District Governor of Rotary District 7770 from 2014 to 2015. He formerly served as a member of the Chesterfield County School Board, uh, the Winthrop University Board of Trustees, the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce Board, and various economic development boards. He has been honored by Winthrop University with the Alumni Professional Achievement Award as well as the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award. Additionally, he was named Citizen of the Year from the Williamsburg Hometown Chamber of Commerce. Dr. Williamson has been married to his wife, Kim, for 33 years. They have three children, Jordan, Keyshawn, and Jake. 
Uh, Kim is a caseworker for Agape Senior of Columbia, South Carolina, and as a true supporter of higher education, Dr. Williamson's sons have all either just graduated from college or are currently enrolled in colleges in South Carolina. As a new system president, Dr. Williamson has been a unifying force for the 58 community colleges in North Carolina. His leadership is helping propel North Carolina community colleges to a new level of innovation and acceptance. We will all anticipate enjoying the same growth in North Carolina as the South Carolina technical system enjoyed, and it would be okay if he brought along some more of those industries that would maybe like to come to North Carolina instead of going to South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to this lectern, Dr. Jimmy Williamson. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. And you're on your own. And you know what you know. And you are the guy or the gal who decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. Graduates, those words from Dr. Seuss's, oh, the places you go, will serve you well beyond today. And I promise we did not coordinate this. <laughs> I thank each of you for allowing me to be with you for this very special occasion. To Dr. Helmick, members of the Board of Trustees, members of the faculty and staff, family and friends of the graduates, I'm honored to be here with you to help you celebrate the accomplishments of those assembled before us today. Today truly is their day. Each of you have played an important part in their success and in their journey. I've learned a few things over the years as I've presided over graduations, delivered speeches, and been involved in this process. Primarily, I've learned that the best speeches are the ones that leave you with a couple of points and are very brief. I'll be brief today. I know that the only thing standing in the way of you receiving your diploma is me. So let's pause at this wonderful intersection as you relish in this moment and reflect on your journey that got you where you are today. Remember that today is not just a graduation, an ending, it is also a commencement, a new beginning. Each of you have your own unique what's next path before you. For some, you'll be continuing your education beyond your current level, or you may be going on into another job. Regardless of your path, you will each face some obstacles along the way. It's how you handle those obstacles that make all the difference. My own career path has not always been so focused. Sure, in hindsight, everything that I've ever done professionally has led me to the position that I hold today. But it was not always so clear for me. Early on in my career, I landed in jobs, almost serendipitously at times, that enabled me to explore new ideas and concepts which I had not considered. While I was an undergraduate, I never once thought that I would spend my days working with students, helping them succeed. I've even had some opportunities along the way, like changing careers in midlife that I had never, ever imagined. You'll have those moments as well. They are disguised often as a pesky little voice that encourages you to reach beyond where you are today. I'll have to admit, I have never had an opportunity come up to me and say, hey, I'm that great opportunity you've been waiting for. You need to take advantage of me. No, instead, it presents itself as a challenge or roadblock, if you will, and it gently steers you in the direction that upon reflection, you realize was the most obvious choice of all. Just as Dr. Sue says, you'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I choose not to go there. Many times it's just as comforting to know what you don't want to pursue 
as it is having a clear vision. I would urge you, however, to fully vet and ev every opportunity that comes your way, even disguised as a roadblock or a challenge. Who knows, it may very well be that great opportunity that you've been waiting for. With all of your success stories in you, while all of you have success stories in your own right, there are several of you that have overcome great odds just to have the honor of sitting in the seat that you are in today. You've seen an obstacle and you realized that it was simply an opportunity in disguise. Such is the case for Ramondo Gonzalez Gonzalez. Ramondo came to the United States when he was 16 years old and spoke absolutely no English. His family is Mayan and they speak a Mayan language at home. When he graduated from Patton High, his English proficiency was still holding him back, although he enrolled at Western Piedmont. With the help of his advisor, he was exposed to a variety of subjects. Ramondo is eager to gain knowledge and he is very inquisitive. While enrolled in school, school he worked in a local factory to, just to help his family. He has applied to UNC Greensboro. His parents do not have more than two or three years of elementary education and his commencement today is certainly a triumph for the entire family. He has inspired his younger brother, Mateo, to pursue postgraduate education at, and after Mateo graduates from Patton, he will attend North Carolina State University this fall. This is what can happen when one individual declares that the challenge before him will not define his future. This is what happens when we see opportunity in the roadblock and decide not to let it define us. Ramondo, we salute you tonight, today, and we encourage you and celebrate your accomplishments. One final lesson that I'd like to leave you with is this. I would also urge you to approach life with the curiosity of a child. I'm sure we all remember how we could take simple materials, a blanket, a flashlight, a pillow, and transform our dining room table into a fort where we were the ruler of our universe and we were both undetectable and all powerful. Or how a simple towel draped around our shoulders could take us from mere mortal to superhero. Now I don't know about you, but I'm not saying that I'm Batman, but I will say that Batman and I have never been in the same room together. <laughs> that childlike imagination is a wonderful gift, one which we must foster daily. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, I think at a child's birth, if a mother could ask a fairy godmother to endow it with the most useful gift, that gift should be curiosity. While a fairy godmother would be out of the question, we do have the ability to awaken the inner child in us and to think beyond what we know to be true. I would urge you to stay connected to that inner child and never, ever lose your sense of curiosity. We must all be lifelong learners because the career path that you're on today may differ than the one that you find yourself in in 10, 15, or 20 years from now. So, you'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. And never, ever mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name Buxbaum, Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Congratulations to the graduates. Good morning, graduates, 
and congratulations to all on this special day when faculty, family, and friends come to celebrate your accomplishments and this educational milestone. In addition to recognizing all our graduates each year, we also recognize and celebrate an outstanding member of our faculty that has demonstrated extraordinary efforts as a teacher, exceptional service to the profession, and a remarkable commitment to students, the college, and the community. The Excellence in Teaching Award was established by the Western Piedmont Foundation in 1986 to honor a member of the full-time faculty nominated by his or her own peers and students. We have all been positively impacted by our instructors during our educational journey, and today we honor a special instructor that truly represents the best of what it means to be a WPCC instructor. The recipient of this distinguished award will receive a plaque, a medallion to wear at all future Western Piedmont graduation ceremonies, and a financial award provided by the Western Piedmont Foundation. The nomination and selection criteria includes creating effective classroom environments, innovations in teaching methods, professional development activities, and leadership roles beyond the classroom. The instructor being honored today is known for creating a rich learning environment for students, reaching high standards of success, passion for instruction, and devotion to assisting students so they reach their goals. The instructor is also greatly admired by students and faculty for displaying tireless efforts in providing support to students both in and outside the classroom. The nomination letters from students for the instructor were passionate and heartfelt. One student stated that this instructor puts her heart and soul into each student's ability and builds our strengths. Another student wrote, I struggled with the possibility of having to drop from the program due to family members' medical needs. This instructor took the time to listen and helped me figure out a way to take care of the needs and still stay in the program. Another shared that this educator's compassion and choice of wise words is pushing me to get through these last weeks before graduation. A final student remark that best sums up the many student nominations states, she shows sincere concern for all of her students' success. Our noteworthy, noteworthy recipient collected nominations from WPCC colleagues as well. Our fa one faculty member wrote, on course evaluations, her students praise her for being an excellent, wonderful, and caring teacher. Although she holds them to very high standards, she also provides them with a high level of support. She often tutors students outside of class on her own time. An additional comment from a fellow faculty member states that this instructor spends many hours every semester visiting dozens of clinical sites to monitor her students who are completing their practicum and serves as a positive professional ambassador for WPCC to our area's medical community. She has earned the highest respect of the office managers who employ our medical assistants graduates because they know that she will send them well-prepared students. In addition to being an instructor and program coordinator, our recipient has been a shining example of how WPCC faculty impact both students and the community. Under her support leadership, the medical assisting program that prepares students to be multi-skilled healthcare professionals qualified to perform administrative, clinical, and laboratory procedures has had a long run of 100% pass rates on the certified medical assistant exams and near 100% employment rates for students. Today's recipient now joins an illustrious group at Western Piedmont Community College that provides leadership in not just the art and science of teaching, but also the heart. The recipient holds an AAS in medical assisting from Western Piedmont Community College and is a member of the American Association of Medical Assistants and participates in the Burke chapter of AAMA where she encourages and supports others in the medical assisting field in Burke County. She is also a very proud grandmother of two wonderful grandchildren. 
the colleagues, trustees, foundation board of directors, administration, faculty, staff, and graduates recognize the recipient and applaud her efforts to Western Piedmont Community College and the students she serves. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present the 2017 Western Piedmont Foundation Excellence in Teaching Award to Rachel Bradshaw. Congratulations, Rachel. I now ask the candidates for graduation to please stand. President Helmick, I'm honored to speak on behalf of the faculty of Western Piedmont Community College to present to you these candidates for graduation. I certify that these persons have fulfilled the graduation requirements for their respective programs of study as prescribed by the college and the North Carolina Community College system and recommend that you confer upon them the degrees and diplomas for which they have qualified. Candidates, you have prepared for the next stage in your lives by completing a prescribed program of study. Whether you choose to continue your formal education at a four-year college or university, or continue employment in your chosen field, or begin employment in a new career, you will be faced with the challenge of adjusting to a constantly changing world in this century. Our world continues to become more complex, requiring that we master the technological, scientific, and humanistic skills which contribute to the development of our society. The foundation you have received in general education will enable you to think critically, to reason logically, and to judge wisely, both in your careers and in your daily lives. Western Piedmont Community College has prepared you well for whatever path you choose, but I urge you to remember that your education is not ending, it is just beginning. Make a commitment at this ceremony to become lifelong learners and continually hone the skills that you have obtained in your time here. With the exception of the first row, will the graduates please be seated. The graduates will come forward as their names are called to receive their degrees and diplomas. And as a special request, I ask that the audience members respect the solemnity of this ceremony and treat all graduates with dignity and respect during the upcoming conferring of degrees. Now the first of our deans will come to the lectern as we begin presenting our awards. Division of Arts and Sciences, candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts, Casey Jane Attaway. William Devin Balance. Michaela Russellin Benfield. Jenna Courtney Brownwood, Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Michelle Ann Burke, Phi Theta Kappa. Maria Teresa B. Clayton, Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Casey Lynn Davis, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Alex 
Alexandria Nora Franklin, Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Ramundo Gonzalez Gonzalez. Eva Shea Green, Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Michaela Heaton. Jessica E. Hennessy, High Honors. <clears throat> Sarah R. Hubbard, Honors. Ashley Sierra Hurley, Honors. Andrea Grace Johnson, High Honors. Courtney Adams Johnson, Phi Theta Kappa. Alexander Ryan Jones. Margaret Elise Knipe. Philip M. Lane. Ashley Page London. Danielle Ellen Chesick Norman, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. Sharon Lynn Pate, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. Mary Courtney Pope. Lance Robert Powell. Michaela Radford, Burke Collegiate Scholar. Whitney Stamey, High Honors. Jennifer Lynn Todd, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. Serafima Irene Truesdale. Tara Workman, Honors. Dow Bailey Saison Nai Vong Pet Cha Ying Zhang Xing Yang Candidate for the degree of Associate in Fine Arts Art, John Gordon Ross. <clears throat> K. 
candidates for the degree of Associate in Science, Trevor Allen Arnett. Brent Justin Avato, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. Aaliyah Blaylock, High Honors. Giovanna Chacon Lopez, High Honors. Hannah Rebecca Davis, High Honors. Noah Jackson Davis. Jessica Renee Denton, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Foster W. Griffin, Honors. Baker Frederick Harris, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Katie Houston. Audrey L. Capula. Sierra Watkins Lohman, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. <laughs> Callaway J. Morgan, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. <laughs> Abigail Ruth Curalo, Honors. Luis C. Tomas. Chong Vu. Savannah Rosemary Waters. Alicia Paki Yang. <laughs> Division of Health, Engineering, and Applied Technology. Candidates for the degree of Associate in Applied Science. Medical Assisting. Lindsay Ruth Anderson. Jennifer Lynn Barrier. Sarah G. Bobak, Phi Theta Kappa. Elizabeth Ann Curtis. Courtney C. Detter. <laughs> Wendy Stalls Edwards, High Honors.
April D. Fulbright, High Honors. <laughs> Naomi Guterres. Jerry Dean Harless, Phi Theta Kappa High Honors. Elizabeth A. Hollifield. Jacqueline Houston, Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Rebecca L. Minor. Kayla A. Parton. Nicole L. Quiles, honors. Lindsey Brooke Trivet. <laughs> Olana Elise Wilkins. Shelby Michaela Williams. Jing Bao Zhang. <laughs> Medical Laboratory Technology. Jasmine Lachey Arrowood, Phi Theta Kappa. Katie M. Boone. Emmy Lou Lindsay Charlesworth, Phi Theta Kappa, High Honors. Laura Cole. Alexis Jordan Reap. Trinette M. Smith. Nursing. Stacy Anna Marie Biddix. Arion Dane Bollinger. William Levi Garrett. Mackenzie Dawn Hamby, Phi Theta Kappa. Heather Powell Harris. Taylor Hassan. Sarah Hollifield. 
Michaela Elizabeth Jenkins. Megan Taylor Johnson. Tracy Lamaster. Lana McKinney, Phi Theta Kappa. India Renee Morez. Holly Parker. Joshua Pearson. Haley Cameron Peterson. Stephanie Sacy. Sabrina Page Sexton. Emily Bell Smith. Lindsay Nicole Wood. Jocelyn Lee Woods. Thomas Christopher Wright. Recreational Therapy Assistant. Madeline J. Gulata. <laughs> Ashley Moore Harris, Phi Theta Kappa High Honors. <laughs> Cody Harold Jordan. Scary Phi Theta Kappa Honors. Adam Scott, High Honors. Candidates for Diploma. Dental Assisting, Jenna A. Arney, Honors. <laughs> Victoria Joyce Bowen, Honors. Brianna Lawson Haithcock, High Honors. Brooklyn Lachey Lefevre.
Jessica and Marie Mabe. Honors. Jennifer Marr. Megan R. Painter. Edie Walker, honors. One of the interesting things about Western Piedmont is how many people in this county have a connection to the college. I suspect we have many proud Western Piedmont graduates or former attendees here in the audience today. And I think it would be great to see how many of those past graduates are in the audience. So before the graduating class of 2017 is officially presented, I would ask that all persons in the audience who are past Western Piedmont alumni to honor our new graduates by standing. If you all would stand up, please. You all can. Thank you. That's the legacy of this college. The alumni are, are the backbone of what we do at this institution, and we thank you for being here. So without further ado, will the Western Piedmont Community College class of 2017 please rise. And now by the authority vested in me by the trustees of Western Piedmont Community College, the North Carolina Community College system and the state of North Carolina, and in recognition of the completion of your prescribed programs of study and all other requirements of Western Piedmont Community College, I take great pleasure in hereby conferring your degrees and diplomas to you together with all rights and privileges. Graduates, the tassel on your mortarboard is currently on the right, or at least it should be. That is a traditional location for students who have not completed their degree. Degree, compl degree completers wear their tassel on the left. We degree completers would like to ask you to join us in our ranks. So please raise your left hand. That's your other left hand. <laughs> Y'all are graduates now, remember? Now grasp the end of the tassel and move it to the left, signifying your acceptance into the ranks of degree completers. Graduates, you are officially recognized as the Western Piedmont graduating class of 2017. Audience, would you please stand and join me in applauding the new class of 2017. If the audience would please be seated and remain seated for the recessional. Thank you. <laughs> 